Hello everyone, welcome to my video on the introduction of the Iron Man Hulkbuster character to Marvel Puzzle Quest. I'm going to take you through this new character, all of his skills, and what his possible team combinations are for, and then I'll have a separate video where I play him with different teammates, and you can see him in action. So, as a, the beginning of the introduction, I'm just going to show you his cover. Of all the buster suits that Tony Stark has built over the years, the Hulk Buster is by far the biggest and the most iconic. It's designed for one thing, fighting the Hulk, but it turns out it's pretty good at fighting other things too. So the new Hulk Buster character is a four-star version of Iron Man. His skill power goes first with red, then black, and then blue in terms of power for matching. And he has 17,810 health, which is the second most health of any character in the game. Devil Dino is the only character that has more health than him. And so I guess he's the mo highest health practical character to be using. So he has three skills, red, black, and blue. So his red is called Repulsor Punch. His black is called Overdrive, and his blue is called Hulk Proof. So let's start at the beginning with red, Repulsor Punch. So at three covers, Iron Man pours his energy reserves into his next punch, using repulsors in his elbow for extra force. Depletes his team's red AP, dealing 270 damage for each. So at three covers, he's doing at the minimum of 9 AP to use the power, 2,430 damage. If you add another cover to red, he's doing 390 damage per AP, which again, if you were to use the minimum of 9 AP, that'd be 3,510, which is 1,080 more than at three covers. If you were to have him at five covers, in red. He does 630 damage per AP, which at 9 minimum red, that would be 5,690 damage, which is 2,160 more damage than at 4 covers, and 3,240 damage more than it would be at 3 covers. So that's a pretty big damage upgrade from 3 to 5 covers and definitely from four to five, that's that's over 2,000 damage more. So I think that if you are planning on using the Hulkbuster's red, it needs to be at five. So I'm going to show a couple of different teams, and it, depending on the team, you're going to want to have five in red, or you're not going to want to have five in red. So I'm going to cover that later. I'm going to move on to talking about the other skills now. So, Overdrive. This costs 11 AP. Tony recklessly diverts power from his heart's arc reactor to give his suit more firepower. Deals 1541 damage to Iron Man. This is set. It does so. It doesn't matter what cover, how many covers you have. It's always going to deal 1541 damage. But it gains six red AP and creates two yellow strike tiles of strength 183. So he's getting six red AP, and he's going to get 366 in strike tiles. So that's a lot of strike tiles he's getting for just 11 AP. And at 6 red creation, it's not the best uh, AP generator. You're trading in 11 for 6. But I guess that really means that it's 5 black AP for 366 in strike tiles. So I think that that's actually a pretty good even at 3. But I think that as we upgrade to 5 covers, it's going to become clear that you really want to have this at 5 because 
you're now at seven red AP at four covers, and you have a total of 482 in strike tiles. That's 116 more than at three covers. And if you upgrade him to five in black, you've now got nine red AP you're creating and you're getting a total of 708 in strike tiles. So I want you to think about that for a minute. You're trading 11 AP for 9 red AP. So you're only losing 2 AP in this deal. You're going to be able to instantly launch his red attack if you want, or just use the red for another character. And you're going to get 708 in strike tiles. So that's 226 more than at 4 covers, and 342 more than at 3 covers. So I think that whatever you want to do with the black, with, with the red or the blue, I think it's obvious that 5 in black is essential to this character. You're getting so much more in strike tile damage, and the extra AP is great too. So I think that you need 5 in black. Let's take a look at blue. So his blue is called Hulkproof. The Hulkbuster suit deploys Hulk countermeasures and powers up shielding, ready for incoming damage. Converts five basic green tiles to red and creates two protect tiles of strength 36. So that's nine AP, and this is at three covers. So you're going to be converting green to red. So two things. That means that one, you're not going to be wanting to use any green character with Hulk, with um, Iron Man's Hulkbuster outfit. That means you're not going to want to use Thor, um, for sure, and you're not going to want to use your own Hulk. And any other characters that rely on green, you, if you want to use his blue at least, you're going to want to not use them, because you're going to be getting rid of green tiles from the board. So that's one of the reasons why I would not pair Hulkbuster with X-Force, although X-Force's green sucks now anyhow, but that's another case. So let's see what happens, so at, at three covers you're getting five red tiles and you're getting 72 um, protect tiles. Um, so let's level it up to four covers. So at four covers you're still getting five green turned to red, so you're not getting any extra benefit except in the protectiles which goes up to 135 which is a 63 increase in protect so nothing that unique from 3 to 4 so I definitely would not bother having him at a build where he is at 544 type situation he's it's either 553 or 355 And if you see him at 5 in blue, he now has 7 green, which is 2 extra from before, and 216 in protectiles. So, just to let you know, the highest match damage you can get, as you can see Hulk Buster does 82, so if you were to make a regular 3 match, that's 246 damage. So you would take about 30 damage from a match that at the highest level from another four star character and for the middle damage you would which is 73 you would take about three damage because that would be 219 damage if you made a three match so here are my feelings if you're bringing Hulkbuster you've got a huge tank to protect you he's got almost 18,000 health and I just don't think the additional protect is worth it. I think that you're better off, unless you're using him with a very specific partner, that you're better off having him at 5-5-3. Five, five, and I don't think it's worth having him built just for that specific partner anyhow, because you want a character that can be versatile all around. So I think that you would want to have 5-5-3. Five, five, so that's the build I'm going to go with, um, except for my video I'm going to show one scenario in which he would be better off with a 3-5-5 build. 
So let's just talk about who he would be good with. So I have, I think, three teams that I would use him with. And one of them is with Steve Rogers and Iron Fist. So why would I use this team? One, it has full rainbow coverage. You've got the red, the black, and the blue on Hulkbuster. You've got the yellow on Cyclops, I mean on Steve Rogers, and you've got the purple and the green on Iron Fist. And also you have two people with iron in their name, so that's a winning team right there. But here's my reason why. The ability to use red is essential for Steve Rogers and for Hulkbuster. And with Iron Fist, you can get a few purple and boost up black very quickly. And once you've got black up, you now have red. And you have strike tiles. So why is that important? One, you can get Steve Rogers' shield out. Now, Steve Rogers, his shield, when you have him at 5 in red and at max damage, does 4,000 damage, which, yes, it is going to be a bit less um, damage than the Hulkbuster, but it's also not going to drain all of your AP, and it's also returnable, so that if you can get a couple black off, blacks off, you're going to be rolling in the red. You can have two shields out at a time. I think that, um, depending on the scenario, you might want to use a Hulkbuster, but in general, I think that you would want to be using Steve Rogers for his shield. And you'd want to be saving up the blue for Peacemaker so you can keep your enemy stun locked. And you get pretty good protectiles better than Hulkbuster's protect, actually, if you use the stun from Peacemaker. So I think that's one reason why this is a good team. You can boost up into that black, and then you can get that red. And then you've got Iron Fist, who has an attack tile, which now does an extra 700 damage a turn from strike tiles, which means that you're going to have an Iron Fist doing over 1,000 damage a turn from his regenerating strike tiles, his regenerating attack tiles. And if you need more strike tiles, you just need to get 5 AP in purple, and boom! You just get more black, and you launch another another uh, overdrive. So I think that's a really good team for people that don't have maxed out 4 stars. If you do have maxed out 4 stars, then an alternative to Iron Fist and Rogers would be Iron Fist and Professor X. You would have Hulk be the middle character, and then you can have a match 5 created using Iron Fist, and then Professor X will give you red AP from that match, so that you can launch, not only will you have the black from Overdrive giving you red AP, you'll have Professor X Master Plan giving you red AP, and the damage from the match 5. So. I think that's another really good team. You've also got the ability to hire Professor X, which can keep him along, alive longer, which will give you Hulkbuster. Nobody's going to attack Hulkbuster first because of his high health, so they would go for Iron Fist, and they can't take out Professor X because he's invisible. So I think that's a really solid team as well. Um, something to take into account is if the AI would play these well on defense, so the Rogers Iron Fist team, the AI is probably not going to play well. So I would be careful using that as your last team if you want to be on defense without shielding for a little bit. I think the Iron Fist and Professor X team would be pretty decent on defense. Um, there's one more team I want to suggest, and that would be Hulkbuster, where he actually is at 355. Um, the reason for that is that you would be relying on Cyclops' red, and you would be 
Well, actually, yeah, you you're, you you need to for this team to work, you really need the five in blue because you want to create seven instead of five red tiles. So it's going to be a Cyclops and Professor X team. Using Mutant Revolutionary on Cyclops for his yellow, you're going to be able to create Depending on how you have them covered, I don't have them covered like this, but you could create eight team ups into red. You can create seven green into red, or you can create six team ups into red. So let's just assume that you only have him at three yellow because that really is his ideal build. So. You have a Cyclops at 535, so that's going to give you 6, and you have Hulkbuster at 335, that's going to give you 7 red. So that's the total of 13 red tiles being added to the board if you were to use these two powers, the 7 AP and this 9 AP skill. So that's 16 AP that you have to save up. So, I still don't think this is the best combo, but I'm going to try it out and see how it works. So, I think I've discussed basically everything. I've gone over the team-ups, I've shown you all the skills and, and what I think is the best way to use him. And tune in for my next video in which I show him in action. Make sure to leave a comment if you want to give me any feedback on how you like me to do these analysis in the future. I'd uh, love to get some feedback. So stay tuned for seeing the Hulkbuster in action.